here, um, making a video about, well, I'll show you what it's about. It's about evaluating trig functions of the sum or difference of two angles. And um, nice thing about watching me on video is you can pause me whenever you want. So um, if I'm going too fast, pause. Like right now, you want to write that down? Go ahead, pause, and then start again. And um, I'll try to go as fast as I can because for those people that don't need to pause, they don't have to. Um, so these are the formulas that go with this section. The trigonometric functions of the sum or difference of two angles. So two angles are u and v. Their sums here, their differences here. So we have a formula to find this and a formula to find this. So these six formulas are all worth looking at. Um, I'm going to focus on this one actually. Um, but the first thing I want to do is show you um, well how this could be, what kind of problem this might be useful in. And you can see it's already written all over the place. Um, I feel kind of bad about that, but um, I could I could erase a bunch of it and then slowly get there. Um, basically, you imagine if you just imagine cos 75 as what you're trying to find out, just imagine that other start stuff is blocked. Like, well, what's cos 75? And the point of this whole section, oh, I mean, if I'm going to test you, if I'm Really, these formulas are not useful at all if you have a calculator. Like, if you want to find cos 75, cosine of 75, you enter in, enter that into your calculator. But if you don't have a calculator, then you're stuck. You knowing, you know, what can you find the sine or cosine of without a calculator? Well, <laughs> don't say nothing. Uh, you should say, well, zero. I know the cosine of zero is one. And then, oh, I know the cosine of 90 is zero. And then, you know. From my special right triangles, I know that the cosine of third, I know the cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. I remember that. Root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, sine and cosine. And then for my 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay, one, it's either 1 half or root 3 over 2, and I have to look at it and remember, I always go here to look. You know, this, is, this is cool math in the, the unit circle. So cosine of 30 would be, it's, it's 30 would be the lower dot, cosine is the x, so cosine 30 would be root 3 over 2. Um, so, okay, that's, that's sort of what that is. Um, so I know, I know 30, 45, and 60, I know my trig functions for those three degree numbers. So now I just have to, um, now I can, if, without a calculator, I can use those and plug them in. Like I can say, okay, cos 75, I don't know what that is. I don't know, a 75, 15, 90 triangle. I mean, there is such a triangle, but I don't know what the ratios are. But um, I know I can break 75 into 45 and 30, and now um, that's now maybe this could help me. So then I, I do that. Now it fits into this formula up here, and so then I start plugging in what I know: cosine 45 root 2 over 2, cosine 30 root 3 over 2 minus sine 45 root 2 over 2, and it's not going to let me bring it back, huh? It's like it timed out. Hmm, there seems to be a communication problem. All right, so I'll, I'll just write it times one over. It would be one half. Sine 30 is one half. So now I know this is cos 75. And I just multiply the fractions. Um, and I can multiply radical by radical and get a radical. And um, root 2 times 1 is root 2. And common denominators means I can combine it into one fraction. And I got root 6 minus root 2, which, you know, they're both irrational decimals, which I can't really subtract with each other over 4, but this is my answer. Check it on a calculator to see that that really is the cosine of 75. So those are our sum and difference formulas. That's what they can do. Um, now, what I was starting to say before um, my technology broke down was why this works. So really, and, and, uh, what I'm really going to show you is a proof, a derivation of, of this formula, this one. Um, I, don't, I can't really wrap my head around it, but I can follow it step by step.
And so I'm going to take you through it step by step. Um, it's based on this drawing. And I'll show that drawing again, I think, where I can write on it here. Um, what you've got to realize in this drawing is that you've got co uh, a big angle, we'll call it U, and a small angle, which we'll call um, V. So U is the big one, V is the small one, and so this angle here, from C to O, B, is, is U minus V. So that's what we're trying to find. What's the cosine of U minus V, of this angle? It's not on the x-axis. So um, I think one thing that we get to do, or we get to start labeling, and this is what I started to do, is, um, hey, this is the unit circle. I've, we put this on the unit circle. See, the radius is 1. And therefore, every point on the unit circle, uh, this x is the cosine adjacent, and this y is the sine. It's opposite the angle. So this point, point C is right here, and 